Mother darling, I am... <laughs> the library is opened for shady readings. Are you ready? Let's do it. The library... Okay. She's got 15 minutes, okay? She's about to go to the gym to Vampire Fitness, Mama. She's turning me green because she's cheap. That's okay. The library is opened for shady readings. <laughs> it is worth mentioning, as it is always worth mentioning, that I am unf... Um... Yeah. Got it. It is worth mentioning that I am not under the influence of any illegal narcotics in the state of California, A. I have not taken a diet pill. Did I take it? No. That thing I showed on live the other night, Mama, she is not to be trusted because guess what? It says never on the directions. And we know as a consumer, as a con we're in a consumer culture in a capitalist society, th the customer is never right. The customer is never right when it comes to drugs. Ah, uh, that's not true, but it's not true, but the customer, you can't trust the customer. Oh, no, 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 sorry. You can't, the customer's never right when you can't trust the fucking dealer. Because advertisements are lies. The hamburgers are fake. <laughs> we learned that years and years and years ago with that HBO documentary about the fucking, um, about advertisement. Because they don't withstand the lights of the studio and the time and all this stuff and, and, and the, the whipped cream will melt so you use shaving cream and blah, 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 blah. It, it's not real. The, the real life is real and advertisements are fake. So if the advertisement ain't legit, mommy, you must quit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey. So what we're doing today is we're getting our jish in a dancerly fashion. Yes, God. And we're going to do that through the power, through the healing power of mom, my mom's huge ass. Plot twist, my mom's ass, ass is actually quite small. But it really, it's your mom's huge ass, because my mom is a skinny mini, and your mom is fat on the joy of life. <laughs> ha! We're going to dance it out. Word of the day is back in the day. Okay? Back in the day buffet. Mix 98.5. Are you still alive? I'm 35. Mother darling? Mother darling? I am... <laughs> The library is opened for shady readings. Are you ready? Let's do it. The library... Okay. She's got 15 minutes, okay? She's about to go to the gym to Vampire Fitness, Mama. She's turning me green because she's cheap. That's okay. The library is opened for shady readings. <laughs> It is worth mentioning, as it is always worth mentioning, that I am unf... Um... Yeah. Got it. It is worth mentioning that I am not under the influence of any illegal narcotics in the state of California, A. I have not taken a diet pill. Did I take it? No. That thing I showed on live the other night, Mama, she is not to be trusted, because guess what? It says never on the directions. And we know as a consumer, as a con we're in a consumer culture, in a capitalist society, th the customer is never right. The customer is never right when it comes to drugs. Uh, it's not true, but it's not true. But the customer, you can't trust the customer. No, 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 sorry. You can't, the customer is never right when you can't trust the fucking dealer. Because advertisements are lies. The hamburgers are fake. <laughs> we learned that years and years and years ago with that HBO documentary about the fucking, um, about advertisement. Because they don't withstand the lights of the studio and the time and all this stuff. And, and, and the, the whipped cream will melt so you use shaving cream and blah, 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 blah. It, it's not real. The, the real life is real. And advertisements are fake. So if the advertisement ain't legit, mommy, you must quit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey. So what we're doing today is we're getting our jish in a dancerly fashion. Yes, God. And we're going to do that through the power, through the healing power of my mom's huge ass. Plot twist, my mom's ass is actually quite small. But it really, it's your mom's huge ass because my mom is a skinny mini and your mom is fat on the joy of life. <laughs> we're going to dance it out. Word of the day is 
back in the day. Okay? Back in the day buffet. Mix 98.5. Are you still alive? I'm 35. Let's hit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, we're going to do a spell together. And I'm not a real fucking witch, mama. <laughs> Let's just get that straight. I am not a bitch. Um, but a real witch is for the movies, okay? Let's get that straight, because sometimes in the era of fake news, um, the truth is fucking important, okay? And I'm all emo over Cardinal Law being dead. Um, and, and just simply because um, I didn't, I, listen, I didn't know the man, right? I know what he represents, I know what he was in charge of, I know what his position of power was. I know the general facts, which are available to anybody. Two for eight, uh, fake witch, yes. Um, uh, how do I turn off the fucking comments? How do I do it, guys? Tell me. Boom, easy. Too easy. Brendan McLean, so nasty and so mean. Um, so, um, Remember when that, that stupid bitch said, I'm not a witch. <laughs> what a stupid bitch. Um, so, r real witches are in the real movies, right? In, in Real Wizards or in Harry Potter. I think J.K. Rowling. Um, for reinvigorating the interest in wizards and witchcraft. Because that mom... J j you heard it here first. And you heard it here last. J.K. Rowling is a fucking genius. Um, so, we're going to do a real spell for a fake witch. Okay, how do we do that? I moved into a new apartment. Now you, we're in LA, so you have the, the, the charlatan come over and burn the sage. You have the real, the, 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 the saint come over and burn the sage. We can, we can uh, figure out all types of lovely ways to throw our money away in LA because um, in New York, they want you dead. In LA, they want you money. Um, so uh, I, I downgraded. So the first step in not throwing away my money was I downgraded. I moved from a three bedroom to a one bedroom. Now, the three bedrooms, because I'm not out of there yet, I have not yet expunged the demons from that place, uh, because we kind of never do that, right? Um, if, there, if we encounter a demon in our life, we get rid of them in the physical sense, we get, we get safe, but the, the memory always lingers, 
right? Which is why I'm wearing this shirt. Now there's a motherfucker out there who for me was a demon for a while. And uh, he's not a demon anymore. He's not an ex, he's not a this, he's not a that. He's a, he's a perfectly fine human being. But um, he got me, gal. He got me, gal. They got me, gal. I'm doing the old Gaga tonight. If they want me, they want me. If they don't, they don't. <sighs> Pork chop. So, um, so a new, uh, so I'm in the bathroom. This is the most important. Uh, the bathroom is the most important place in my house. Okay, so let me let me tell you. <laughs> what do we do in the bathroom, Mama? We take a shit. We take a shit. We take a piss. I'm not going to show you the bathroom. I'm not going to show you the toilet because I just took a shit in there. And that's nasty and disgusting and rotted. But I will show you the preparation. Preparation H for hemorrhoids. Also, preparation H for honesty. Also, preparation H for your mom's huge ass. Charmin. Toilet papier. And then I got a backup. I got one, two. I got three, four. I got three, four loose toilet paper rolls. Then I got three extra packs of four each. That equals 12, bitch. That's 16 motherfucking toilet paper rolls for all kinds of shitting and pissing in the motherfucking bathroom. Then I got my power. I don't need the lights for this, right? Because I can shine the light on my fucking phone, ho, with power. Who's got the power? She do. <laughs> then let's get morbid. Uh, before we get morbid, let's get real. Do we have water? We do. Now, if you've been following the fucking news, you'll know that that's a little more than some people in goddamn Puerto Rico can say. All right, Jessica Wild. You like it, Wild? Do you love this drink? Do you love this drink? The drink now is water. 80 grand to Puerto Rico. Vicky O'Hara. That's a witch. So... I got death on my right arm. I got death, I'm sorry, I got the devil on my left arm. And what do I need to do in order to prove this point to a person that just joined here from nowhere that doesn't know me? Well, I'll take off my shirt. I'll take off my shirt and it's gonna hurt only insofar as it's a little bit cold in here. Oh mama, every inch a woman, don't you forget about it. So the funny thing is, is my death tattoo is itchy because I have psoriasis. It's not because the Grim Reaper is chasing me down. That's fucking foolish. I got psoriasis. I got itchy dry skin and I haven't been in LA for a long time and this place is so fucking dry that half the city's on fire. Here's the plot twist. The devil is perfect. Now, if I want to wax poetic about why this is the way it is, I could tell you a story and I will. I got the devil and I got the, I got death in Brazil. I got death in Brazil, um, which is a tropical climate and it healed in a matter of hours, actually, which is insane. It, it, it actually healed in a matter of days, of course, because I have a connection to science <laughs> in my own human body and I realized that my human body is just a part of science like it is any other body. But um, she's dry as fuck, bitch. And I'm sure if I put the comments on, you would have all these wonderful little ideas about how to make that not dry. But I'm, I've, I've consulted every major tattoo artist in the local vicinity, and they're telling me everything I need to know. So, I took off the shirt. I'm going to put it in the dirt. Because this motherfucker, and if you're watching, I, want, I have two things to say to you. Number one, I'm sorry. And number two, Unfollow me because you are a dumbass. <laughs> but one day you could be a fabulous writer because that fucking bullshit you sent me the other day, ho, was funny. And I don't think you meant it to be funny, but it gave me a laugh. And that was the lesson you wanted to fucking teach me, bitch. The lesson <laughs> was that don't take your life too seriously. And that's a wonderful lesson. And I'm giving you the gift of you teaching me that lesson. That doesn't make no sense. But that's the lesson I'm going to choose to take away from it. Because, oh, you ain't worth my motherfucking time. 
So, death, desertion, divorce, the three Ds. D something, R something, yo. Daryl, Daryl Van Horn. When you summon the devil, you better make sure you have what? When you summon the devil, make sure you got what? Now make sure you're strong enough to withstand his fiery dagger dick. It's not um, make sure you got enough money to build a fortress. It's make sure you have what? What is the only... What at the end of the day, and this is from a movie, what at the end of the day is the only thing that can shield you from the full force and power of the devil, of the devil as symbol, the devil as metaphor, the devil as real, the devil as demon, stupid demon. Friends. Friends, bitch. A coven of witches. Two Vs. One is for vampire. One is for victory. Two Vs together equals what? Wonderful. Whimsical. Wimber woman. So, if there's an M giving you grief, what do you gotta do? Flip the script. An M upside down becomes a what? A W. So, drop the drink. Make the glass clink, clink, and get yourself a Wimber Woman. So, uh, that made no sense except for me, but guess what? Plot twist, it was just for me. Because this is a personal spell, it's in my motherfucking bathroom. I got soap, black raspberry and vanilla. Three bucks, nice. I got a candle, chocolate flower. It doesn't smell that good. But, fleur en chocolat. In French, fleur, fleur, flower. Oh. There's no sound in the English language that's like the E-N in French. Oh. The N trails away. Almost like you're trying to catch it. And it trails away. Fleur en. Sounds like fleuron? Fleuride? Doesn't matter. Fleur en chocolat. The T. In French, it is what often? T in French is often what? Silent. There's a lot of silent letters in French. So the experience of reading French and speaking French, two totally different things. Fleur en chocolat sounds beautiful. In reality, for Five bucks at the bodega? Might not be that beautiful. But here's the moral of this fucking stupid ass goddamn story. The true spell, the thing that will bring us out of hell, is a laugh. And the laugh comes when at the end of the night when you're in drag and you take off your gaff. The laugh comes when you take off the gaff and you realize that for your new place, to cleanse the space, <laughs> you put a fucking chocolate flower on the top of the toilet. Okay? That's what I just did. Let me show you. Fleur en chocolat. This house might be nasty and it might be mean, but it's mine and it is now. Extra clean. Happy Mary, um, Happy Christmas, Mary. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Harry Potter and gay people. What do they say? Happy Christmas, Mary. You get the Merry Christmas, but you just, you get it. Okay, bye.